MPI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Stable Series on the Temperate Tan Planet Start with weight restrictions enabled. So, you can see I finished doing the cargo portion, kind of fleshing this thing out a bit. I put some Gatling guns on the front. I had to put a fridge over here to put weight forward and to this side because it was all tipping back and over to the side all the time so I've been trying to balance it by it, it looks all out of whack but it's a little bit more balanced at least I can't put the extensions here because these ones are for the ammo container and they can't physically connect to any other extensions that are connected to another controller. So I'm going to have to just put regular blocks in there or something to separate them. And then I'll put something here too at the back. But to tell you the truth, I just want to use this to gather some resources. And that's what we're going to do today. We have, not only do we have the, that right there that we can go check out but there's a twin to it over across the way that I noticed it's like huh, okay so there should be a whole bunch of cargo boxes this thing now has with the the ammo or sorry the the ore and wood box has equivalent of 2370 storage unit capacity with 64 uh, stacks so Currently, it's being eaten up by the two cores that I made. So we're going to take these cores over. We're going to pop the cores out of the other ones because now that I've got a jetpack, I should be able to get up there. Um, yeah, and we're going to see what all that is over there. So that's pretty exciting. Let's go do that. <clears throat> okay, so this thing, I had to add an RCS. It doesn't really get off the ground very well anymore, but it still gets off the ground enough that... You know, it's no problem. We can cruise around. Gets pretty good fuel mileage because I only use two rear thrusters. The rest are just the hover engines. And we have, see, there's those guys that killed me. The weird thing is, is I didn't take a faction hit at all. So I'm not even, see, not even one, one point. So I'm not even sure why they attacked me at this point. Whatever. I'm, I'm not going to, it's. It might be buggy. I know the faction system is still buggy. Um, so apparently there was a massive slew of hotfixes that they put in that just released today. So hopefully that'll fix a lot of the bugs that we've been experiencing, like the inventory um, items in your inventory just completely vanishing. That's a horrible bug. Horrible bug. Okay, so we do have a Wi-Fi connect on our ship we should be able to just jump out let's um let's actually grab let's make sure we're connected to the wi-fi okay and we can just go like this that way we can actually just load up the toolbar and put it all or we can just wi-fi it all directly in when if we get up there if we get up there Okay, I think what I'm going to need to do is get my weapons ready here. Let's get some ammo in that. Okay. So. Oh, there's the core way up there. I see the core. Oh, hey, I wonder if I can... Can we get up there? Can we walk up here? Oh my. I think we can. It's a little nerve wracking, but. Oh no! Oh! oh I don't know if I want to do this. Uh. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of freaking containers. 
Okay, can I shoot this out without falling? Uh, uh. Okay, so now I can put my own core in. I'll just... Uh, I should be able to just fall down now and wipe. Wow, there's eight. I don't even know. We won't even be able to take any of this stuff. It's going to be all insane. Uh, that's okay. Let's go put our own core in. Okay, so get ready. We got the jetpack. And... Oh, I still took damage. Darn. That's okay. <clears throat> That's okay. Okay, we can just throw the core. Let's uh, put a core in. We can just put it there. That's fine. Okay. So now, oops. Let's jump in here. Now that we have a core in there, we should be able to just technically... Unknown Helix. Switch to our... Oh, you know what? I wonder if we can... Um, unknown Helix. I wonder if we can do the fuel from it. <clears throat> we can. We probably can. Let's... Let's get into it here. And take this fuel. Nice. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so let's Wi-Fi in, and so we want Unknown Helix, check the first one out, so mass, volume, wow, that takes up like half our volume, we can't even pick that up, we can pick some of those up, none of it's useful for us right now. See, again, they gave us... Oh, that's super nice, so I'm taking that. I'm taking that. <laughs> Warp drive can't use it. Xeno can't use it. A restroom can't really use it. I, I'll take them, but... So this is the other issue I have, is they, they, they're giving us stupid loot for starters. Like, I can't use any of this, really. Well, sniper. I'll take that. Ugh. <sighs> It's hoping for ores, really. Ooh, fusion cells. Take that. Medical devices. And we are... F we're full? Really? Almost. Yep, we're full. And another... Wow, okay. So, there is some useful stuff. All the fuel. Lots of stuff that I can deconstruct <laughs> t2 repair bay though like wow that's a couple of those that's that's pretty epic now we won't be able to actually grab any of that stuff really until we build a better vehicle that can handle that sort of weight so we're going to need like a 16,000 liter vehicle here you know what i didn't even need to drive this close so check this out our wi-fi we're still connected to the base because I put it there. Now we're not connected to the base anymore. But if I wanted to, I could just stroll up. And we're connected to the base. I can just hit the Wi-Fi thing. I can go, I can select the base. And I can literally just go like this. And transfer everything over to it. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Uh, although, we are going to take... to switch to hover and we're going to turn to fuel and we're going to grab these and we're just going to fill it up and then we're going to put those back okay well let's go grab let's go keep grabbing stuff let's go keep grabbing stuff we can't really grab much we can get those those gold ingots, the uh, the other heavy, and we should get a Wi-Fi signal as soon as we get really close, and then we can just Wi-Fi it all. There it is. Okay, so we want...
I mean, those are cool. We can just leave them for now. I can't even pick... I could pick that up and bring it, but we can't use it anyway. I just want to grab stuff we can use right now. Oh, those medical. Quite heavy. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Too? Oh, yeah, more fuel. Wow, okay, so we... So, wow, okay, we're going to get some really good fuel out of this. I had to put an RCS on this because the uh, hover thrusters didn't work anymore. Too much weight. Basically, all they're good for right now is just pushing me off the ground. The uh, all all of my momentum is forward based now with the rear rear thrusters, and the RCS is really what's steering me. So, right, I didn't know need to come all this way. I just the Wi-Fi, and then we go base, and we just dump it in. That's very usable. Those, those fusion cells, that's epic. The medical devices is good, too. We're going to set those up. Uh, it's not bad to have a T2 sniper. You know what? Ooh, a laser rifle. Well, I can't, I can't make ammo for it yet anyway. Okay, let's go get some more. We can get some more fuel. Ooh, clip that rock pretty hard. And then we'll go do the same thing to the other unknown helix. <clears throat> we'll see what goodies we can get. It's going to be all stuff we probably can't really use. Although finding more fuel would be really good. Now, where was it? It was the last couple, right? So we go like that. Grab the minigun. And that. So, base T2. Another base T2. Yeah. And another base T2. Wow, three T2 repair base. Whole bunch of Xeno steel blocks too. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go dump this off because it's too heavy to take over to the other one. Okay, and come on, any second here, we should get our Wi-Fi signal. There we go. And we'll just go like this, base, and. Dump. Isn't that just so easy? Isn't that awesome? I really like the logistics. I'm 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 a fan. I'm a big fan. Okay, so we can't get any more out of that one. Let's let's go really slow over Oh, so it's oh that switches you. Okay, I didn't know that. What's going on here? <clears throat> Can't really see if there's any seaweed. Yeah, there's seaweed in here. Good. We might be going seaweed swimming in a bit. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Jeez. I don't see any drones. We should actually get our guns ready just in case. Okay. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to just do something really cheesy here. <laughs> Much easier. Much easier. There's no spawners on this thing, so I don't feel bad about blowing out the core with my ship. Because there's just no, there's no spawners, so who cares, right? 
Okay, so let's put the core in. Just do it like we did the other one. We'll just place it right there. That's fine. And then we'll. Whoa, buddy! Hey! Ho ho ho! Whoa, 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 whoa! Personal space here, guys. Come on. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's take the fuel. much but it's worth taking okay so we'll jump back in here and we'll Wi-Fi the unknown helix let's check out the first one oh my goodness extra large thruster 16,000 ke you can't grab that grab the heavy armor and fusion cells and that and that and oh pulse laser we'll grab that and, ooh, another one. Can't pick it up, though. Okay, so we got to head back and drop that. We're getting lots of high-end stuff. Lots of heavy armor. Holy crap. I, mm, not really sure. I think they should actually change the loot in those to, uh, to like, the super common ones, to tell you the truth. The ones with, like, ore and stuff that, that people could actually use. Okay, where is it? There it is. Well, having a hover vehicle, even if it's just a starter, is, makes life way easier. Way easier. Getting around is much faster and safer. I'm not cooking or freezing because it's all temperature controlled in your cockpit, so that's good. Oh, wow, we're getting up there in... Uh, That's a lot of fusion cells. That's nice. We're getting a lot of pentaxa too. We might have, we might not have to go hunting for, for fuel, for a while with all those fusion cells. <clears throat> nope, spitty bug, spitty bug. I don't like him around like that. I think we need to do something about that. Okay. What did he have? Some meat? Nice. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to jump into there. It's just... I can go into the fridge, put that away. Uh... Ah, good enough. Good enough. <coughs> okay. And the natives... See, there's gold there, too. There's gold in them near heels. A couple nuggets right here. I've got lots of gold ore, though, and gold ingots now from looting this stuff. I'm not sure if I really need it right now. We can come back for it. Okay. More we can grab. I need the 16,000 liter. I need to get a whole bunch more um, mats, really. I was hoping I was hoping this was going to have all of our mats. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to activate the next set of missions. So, let's do this. Human remains. Activate mission. Human remains. Ooh, that sounds scary. So, yeah, this isn't the this is the storyline missions. This is not the Robson Protocol. Robson Protocol. It used to be the Robson Protocol. The Robson Protocol is now the tutorial. Okay, so PDA. We want to go into the PDA. Human remains. 
first click on the he headline that says personal log file, okay, and then wait, next wait for the message to vanish. Then click on the PDA info. Got to wait for the message to vanish, okay. Farewell party, blah, blah, blah. so you can, you can pause this and read that if you want. I've, this is the same message that they've had before, so it's, that's fine. Okay, we'll let that update while we Wi-Fi grab more stuff. So let's select our <clears throat> that and grab the can't grab that. That's sixteen thousand. That's I don't need those yet. Combat steel though, that's nice. All these Xeno steel and combat steel. Jeez, those fusion cells, they make, they got to make them a way lighter than what they are. That's ridiculous. Nice. Wow. Well, we're going to have lots of stuff for a CV <laughs> right off the bat. Okay. Uh, let's go dump this off. And I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, there. It took a while. Go to signal. Crash Titan. Oh, okay. So they're going to head us to the Titan now. That's fine. Let's go dump this off first, though. And we'll go make some more. Uh, the Titan, I'm hoping we can get some good. Um, some good loot out of in the way of um, ingots. Because the back one, we used, the back part, we used to be able to get a whole bunch of ingots out of. Because it just had a whole bunch of common uh, alien loot containers in it. And early game, those common ones are really good, really good. Okay, so let's just dump all this off. Wow. Wow, 160. We've got four heavy armor already. Bunch of weapon upgrade kits. Couple of laser rifles. Sniper. We can't make any of the ammo for that stuff yet, so we're just going to have to hold off. Okay. Okay. Let's, um,. Oh yeah, we can just fridge. We can actually Wi-Fi into the fridge now too, I guess. So fridge, and then we can eat that. Okay, so let's... We're going to need to build a... Crap, I don't have the mats to... You know what? We're, we're going to have to go mining here. We're going to have to go mining. So I think I'm going to call the episode here. And then off camera, I am going to go mine up the copper and mine up some more iron. Uh, we're going to we're gonna get a whole bunch of mats here because we are solely really, really lacking in mats now. So I'm going to go do a bunch of mining off camera. And then next episode... We'll go check out the, um, I'll either have enough, you know what, I'll either have enough mats to spawn in my 16,000 liter starter, and I think that's the goal. Actually, let's get that, let's get that in our factory here. So, I have a 16,000 liter starter, it's only level 5, but it takes quite a few mats, right? Lots of copper, silicone, and iron. And the carbon substrate's easy. That's that's actually deceivingly not that much. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to send that to the factory. Uh, it's got three turrets on it. It's got regular thrusters and regular hover engines. It's actually more fast, maneuverable, and uh, it's got a lot of carrying capacity, plus more guns. So it'll be better. Uh, so there we go, where we can start putting stuff in there right now. I mean, we got all that stuff we 
we could we could technically the stuff that we can kind of pick up that's only like 1500 um storage units we could we could drop into our into our uh into it right away because we could use the the cargo container on our hover vessel to pick those up and put it into the the uh, blueprint uh okay guys well i'm gonna leave it off here and i'm gonna like i say i'm gonna go mining a lot and then uh hopefully i'll have enough to get the mats to spawn in our next vehicle and i can multi no oh, you know what i can't multi-tool this one down because we haven't found any Prometheum yet and that's the other thing too I gotta go find some Prometheum I mean as as nice as those fuel cells are for for having fuel we can't make them any multi-tool or drill charges so yeah okay till next episode you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>